Okay, Bolo Buddies, I'm going to show you how to remove marker from dolls, but we're also going to have a little fun with these dolls. Let's see if we can make some money on these crazy dolls. And this is an Instagram post inspired video, so stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you how I got this to look like this. Now Hey Bolo Buddies, the snow is coming down. It's beautiful. The trees are getting covered. I love it. And I have a video for you guys, but first we're gonna go right into my trailer. It's one minute long, but it's gonna show you what my channel is about in case you're new here. Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I was thinking we could have a little fun with this. I listed this doll on my Instagram, which is bolo underscore buddies resellers. And I was like, should I list it? Just kind of being funny. And I had them in a bag and I was just going to actually throw them in the trash. And my reseller treasure said, either way I would try, even if an auction, people like one of a kind items. And then um, Farm Girl Scavenger wrote, people use these dolls to make crafts, Halloween decorations. Um, let's see, she put common Courtney. We know there is a market for everything. We are solid proof. So. I'm going to show you what I have here and I'm going to auction them and just see what happens. What do you guys think? Okay. I'm going to show you the lots that I'm going to sell on eBay and that I'm going to try to auction. And then I promise we're going to get to removing the marker. Okay. So here are the other dolls that came in the lot and you can see like they are a mess with markers and haircuts and all of that good stuff. I was gonna try to get the marker off and then I just decided that it is not worth my time. There's the guy that I posted on uh, Instagram. So I am gonna put these in a lot and I am going to auction them off on eBay and I'm gonna put a link down in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, here is the next set of dolls and you can see right here. This one is the one from this video where I got the marker off, well, most of it. And I'm gonna lock this set up and sell it also. Now, let's see, like this one has some, like it looks like on her face and this one has on some weird lipstick. So I'm just going to list these as um, like her, this one's lips look a little funny. <laughs> I have no idea, but um, I'm just going to list them with cosmetic defects and then people can, I'll probably put crafters in the title also, but somebody may want these just for their kids to play with. This little baby doll is pretty good, but um, I don't know, I think those are strawberry shortcake and I think the pink haired one is vintage, but I can't remember what she's called. I think it said on the back of her neck. Let me see if I can find it, city toy. So I don't know what that is. And I don't know what these girls are, but if they were in good condition, I'm guessing they'd probably sell pretty well. So I am bummed, but um, you know, if somebody put some clothes on them, you know, they're their faces aren't too bad. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try it as a crafter's lot. I'm just going to auction it and 
see what happens might as well i was gonna um i had these all in a bag to donate but because of the instagram post i am just going to give this a shot now is it a hundred percent perfect no but is it a lot better yes and this will work in different situations also um, for example, I just had a Paw Patrol plastic toy and it had initials on the bottom of it. And I was able to do this trick to get the initials completely off. With dolls, it's a little harder because of the material. But I would say overall, that is a huge difference. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So somebody gave this doll a, uh, a good coloring. So I'm going to take this dry erase marker. I'm gonna color right here, and then I'm gonna wipe it off. So that will take it off. I have to decide if I wanna spend the time on these dolls. I have a bag full, and most of them are colored like this, and some of them have haircuts. So the ones with haircuts, I may not mess with, but look, her eyebrows are even colored. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have no idea if these auctions are going to sell, but you know what? My um, buddies over on Instagram, my reseller treasure and farm girl scavenger Noel definitely put me up for a challenge. So let's see what happens. Doesn't cost me anything, just a little bit of time and I think it'll be fun. The links are going to be down in the description if you guys want to watch the auctions. And I'm going to give you guys some information on those ladies so you guys can go check out their channels also. Okay, so this is one of the gals that responded. It is my reseller treasure and she is awesome. She has awesome videos about Barbies and different dolls. She really knows her stuff. So please be sure to go over and subscribe to her again on YouTube. She is my reseller treasure. And Noelle is the other gal who responded saying to auction them. So if you could also go check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle on YouTube, that would be awesome. So check out Brandy, My Reseller Treasure, and Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. And they both do reseller content, so definitely go and check them out and tell them Bolo Buddy sent you. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to check out one of my other Bolo videos. I share with you items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.